I kind of had, I mean, I know that you had Watson Thomas Funeral right. Home and Crematory, but um, something I was curious about, and you kind of answered part of it. So you went right from high school. You said, I know this is what I'm doing. You know where I'm going. Well, my dad said that you had to figure out something to do with the rest of your life, and I'm like, this seems as good as anything. So I didn't really know. A friend of mine was kind of interested in funeral service, and so I just was kind of tagging along with him. And, and did your friend go on and do it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what did no? you do back then when you were 20 what? at a funeral home? What did I do at a funeral yes, home? Like, what, what was, was your work? Uh, I was mostly an embalmer back then, yeah. Okay. dead bodies get them ready for visitations and funerals so what is that process like do you is it like the body gets submerged in this embalming fluid or do you like paint so, it on with a brush yeah what, what do you do the above yeah huh? that's what i mean so <laughs> yeah. what's that like? so yeah i mean it's it's if you will like a surgical procedure you raise a couple of you raise one one artery and and one vein typically to start with and uh, there's an embalming machine that kind of takes place and acts like the heart if you will it pumps the embalming fluid uh, through the body and uh, then about, you know, some of the blood, not all of it, half of it maybe or so, uh, is actually drained out and just replaced with embalming fluid. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know it went inside the body. Yeah. You That's put some type of, uh, uh, what's the name? The, the embalming fluid, fluid embalming? formaldehyde, yeah. So yeah. you just put the inside of the body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes Instead in of through like a like vein. A or, well, similar, but yeah, we, sure. uh, so embalming, you actually invest, uh, inject through a, a vessel or an artery instead of like IVs that go into a vein. So, you know, so the artery is what carries fresh blood supply throughout your body. And then as your body uses it, it goes back in through the lungs and through the heart, through the venous system, which the body has used all the oxygen out of it. So it has to continue to pump through and reuse it. So we inject embalming fluid in through the arteries and it drains out through the veins. So you say you got like a pump because obviously the, the it's like person, a big tank, yeah, I right. Mean, but the person's yeah. passed away, so their yeah. internal pump is done. It is done. So there's so you, basically an external one that. Dang, yeah. I never knew that. Do you do either. that to yeah. every every single person? No, only if no? they request it or if the family wants to have some sort of service. Okay. So if you're doing a like an open casket funeral yeah. or something like that, you're definitely going to do the embalming. Yes. Right. Yep. And now if you're going to no law. Yep. No law. Some there's no law there's, you don't have to do it there's no law that you have to be embalmed right? okay but then if you do a, a cremation you probably have no purpose to do that depends and if they have services before they're cremated then you would True. be embalmed yes okay yep how was like i mean just call a lot of people are uncomfortable with not only death yeah but dead bodies yeah so when i was growing up my mom had a second time job she worked at the bank during the day and then at night she would answer the phones for this funeral home in pontiac illinois no kidding duffy's duffy's oh yeah I know duffy's, duffy's funeral well, yeah. home yeah and so we as kids you know we would spend many of these evenings at this uh funeral yeah. home mm -hmm. and uh the duffy's had a son the same age as my brother so i, I was running around with two older guys and you know who knew i was scared right like, i didn't want to be, don't leave me alone in here where y'all going you know like did not want to be left alone i was a small <laughs> child man and there's dead bodies over there so like don't leave me alone you know and man they would mess with me sure all the time absolutely um what was your very first like you're on your own you're you someone has now passed away this is your job today to take care of them like how was that I don't really remember my very first like on my own embalming. I can really remember my first actual like death call I went on when, when I was working in a funeral home. Because when you're in school, you're working on cadavers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, somebody that's been dead for a time and, you know, they're cold and there's not a lot of personal interaction. But it was one of the guys that worked at the funeral home. It was his uncle. And so we go to the hospital and, and get the guy and the first thing i th recall is reaching over to grab him to move him over and that he was still warm so it was a bit weird like because i had oh, never yeah. because we were only used to the cadaver so right so you've been messing with these and then yeah. here's someone this is like a recent experience right right yeah so i mean it was weird from the standpoint of there was a a connection with that person right 
because it was the guy I worked with, the guy that I was with, it was his uncle. Mm-hmm. And it was like the first actual like warm person, if you will, that right. it touched. <laughs> so yeah, like that's ingrained. That's 28 years ago. That was the summer of 19, like June, May, June of 1994. So yeah. So do, you've been doing this for 28 years. Yeah. In those 28 years, have you ever had... Um, is, is this a myth or what? Do bodies like can oh, randomly yeah. just sit up? Oh, absolutely. They can do that? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you said, do oh. people ask it? No, they can't sit up. No. Okay. No, I thought that... you said, have you had that? You said, oh, absolutely. no. I have thought you... you meant have people like ask you and be like, oh, I've seen a body sit up. And no. Yeah, no. That, so they're it's, done. It's impossible. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything weird happening with a dead body? Well, it's like a lot of things. I guess it depends what you call weird. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so like the only real weird thing is, you know, they say, oh, people move after they die. Yes. That's not the case. The only, somebody younger, more muscular, uh, sometimes when they die, when you embalm them, they will, like, you might get a little twitch or something like that from a finger just because of strong muscle mass. Yes. Um, and they're just a reaction with the embalming fluid firming up the muscles you might get a little bit of movement but you don't get like a rah kind of <laughs> right. there's, there's no yeah. zombies but the joke always is just in case we tie everybody's shoelaces together just in case no, just kidding. yeah just kidding look at victor just he kidding said, what? <laughs> it's just a joke it's a joke don't you get it yeah, yeah. all right yeah. you know in case for the zombie apocalypse everybody yeah, will trip because their shoelaces are mm-hmm. tied together <laughs> now another joke i've heard and maybe there's some truth to this too but being uh, a funeral home director uh i mean people come to you dead and they they don't need the the stuff they have so for example i hear you get free shoes all the time yes uh, many we, different sizes. Yeah. Free shoes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just start I, a secondhand <laughs> store. No, yeah. just, just kidding. Again. No. Most, but that's people crazy. that don't know me be like, uh, is no. this guy telling the truth? Anybody that knows me knows yeah. I've got a bit of an odd sense of humor. But yeah. I mean, it takes, just call it what it is. It does take uh, a different type of person. Yeah. I, mean, I want to use the word odd because uh, out of respect for you. and your, We're all your, odd in our own we ways. We are all odd. But it does. It takes like a special oh, sure. breed for Absolutely. someone not only to be able to work on a, a deceased right. body, but also to you have a business to do. Right. You have a job to do. And then you also not only that, like, I mean, you have families that are coming to you um, for some sort of compassion a level of expectation for this celebration of life or service that's being put together. Yeah. A true funeral director, I, you know, in all seriousness, I always said is really more of a calling. Like I have no connection to funeral service whatsoever. How did I end up in a buddy of mine was interested and I went along with him because he was my best friend and we did everything together. And he's like, Hey, I'm kind of interested in this. Um, you know, let's go shoot the breeze with this funeral director on Friday night, he's at work. Let's go hang out at the funeral home. I'm like, I, I, okay, whatever. It didn't bother me. I grew up hunting and that kind of stuff. So death and those kind of things didn't bother me. Uh, hmm. But, you know, to the fact that 28 years later, like I followed through with it and became a funeral director and he chose to go a different direction in life. Like it's clearly there's some sort of calling, calling there. I mean, you're, yeah, you're a part-time minister, you're a part-time counselor, you're part-time restorative artist you know in, in the embalming procedure to try to make somebody look natural again you're you're a business owner you're you know i mean you're at the a end manager, of the day you're, you're a manager a, you're yeah. a salesman you know because people are buying a product from you and and you know you have to sell them stuff it doesn't mean that that's really what we do but we are selling them things so we are a salesman and i mean there's just I'm mm-hmm. a part-time janitor, you know, we don't anymore, but you know, we don't mow our own yard, but we clean our own sidewalks. We scrub our own toilets. We wash our own cars. So, you know, I mean, we kind of do a little bit of everything. And, mm-hmm. and uh, so now, you know, you mentioned the embalming process. Yeah. What, what is it after that? You know, um, let's see my grandma, for example, sure. right? Like someone did her makeup. Yeah. Someone like it's typically you know, she, us. Okay. They, yeah. You at one point, now I know you make, oh, yeah. you have a staff, but yeah. at one point I, mean, I still put, do it sometimes, but yeah, you're yeah, putting lipstick oh, yeah. and some eyeliner and Absolutely. hooking them up. Yeah. That's interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have people there that only takes care of the makeup part? Or uh, 
it, at larger funeral homes, you'll have people that that's kind of their main job is we kind of call it the back room and the embalming room. They're kind of on the preparation side of things. Um, smaller funeral homes, you usually everybody does a little bit of everything. You know, one of our staff members, she mostly spends time back there. One of them kind of splits it and then I'm back there very little. So, mm-hmm. uh, but for 28 years, I mean, at one point yeah, you were back yeah. there. I doing mean, once upon a time, that was, that was my main gig. So, so. you, usually the, the makeup, will the family tell you the type of makeup? That They'll the bring a picture. Likes? If it's a lady, I'm like, Hey, bring her makeup bag in. Right. So, there you, go. you know, now they do have mortuary cosmetics and depending on who you talk to that, you know, mortuary cosmetics are made different because our skin changes when we die and I won't get into all the science of that. But, mm-hmm. uh, if grandma's got particular blush and lipstick particularly or an eyeliner or you know you get or uh i think uh, oh gosh what the heck was her name you get somebody that wore their makeup like what's her name from the drew carey show oh you yeah know, whatever yeah. her i can't remember what her name was but uh you know obviously i'm gonna want that blue eyeshadow because right. that's what she always wore so we want to make sure that they have whatever was specific for them so yeah so yeah 